At first glance, both fire and forestry can seem destructive, particularly when they affect vast, highly visible areas. They can seem like permanent, maybe even catastrophic disturbances. However, in reality, disturbed areas can quickly regenerate into robust native vegetation and with time, reform similar to that which existed before the disturbance. This process of regeneration and recovery after disturbance is called resilience. I consider resilience the ability of a system to absorb shock and, and recover uh, in, a, in, in a way that um, a system um, survives. It may not be the same system that was there before necessarily. One of the roles of fire is to give the system a chance to respond to new environmental conditions. Resilience would be the ability of that system to sort of recompile itself into more or less the same pieces, although sometimes in, in different ways. Plants, wildlife, and trees have all adapted over thousands of years to live with disturbances. The natural tendency for a forest to recover back to a forest is the basis of resilience. And it's one of nature's most important, but often overlooked processes. I think a fundamental part of the healthy landscapes approach is an understanding that our forests naturally change through time, um, that they're complex uh, and that they're diverse, and that the disturbances that, uh, such as fires and insect infestations are important parts of that changing through time and an important part of the diversity and complexity. The degree to which boreal forests are resilient to harvesting depends on when, where, and how harvesting occurs. The Healthy Landscapes approach proposes that a more resilient landscape can be encouraged by making harvesting patterns look and act more like a wildfire. So when we think about how we manage our forests, uh, from, from human perspectives, how do we harvest? How do we, um, how do we operate within those forests? We can learn a lot from natural disturbances. And if we do that, we can create forests, ecosystems that are healthy, and which is just simply another way of saying the more complex scientific term of forests that are resilient, that, are, uh, that have ecological integrity.